characters. Ooh. Now, I'd like to spend a little bit of time okay. introducing you to some of the playable this characters in the game. This is where it's... Mm. Unlike in traditional Zelda titles, many characters will join the battle in Hyrule Warriors. First up, of course, is Link. Who looks awesome. In Hyrule Warriors, he appears as a soldier training to defend Hyrule Kingdom, where Princess Zelda... I love these cutscenes. I've seen some of them, not all of them, you know, the full cutscenes, but they look so... Link is a well-rounded hero, easy to use for anyone. And he can of course do his famous spin attack. It would be blasphemy if they now didn't make it. Princess the same. Zelda. In the main Zelda series, she normally doesn't get too involved in battles, but she is quite active as one of the playable characters in Hyrule Warriors. Her signature weapon is a rapier. With a fast and fierce combo attack, she can easily <clears throat> plow through monsters. But she can also create arrows of light to take down distant enemies. Wow. Impa often appears as a close advisor to Princess Zelda in the Look at this. Oh. Her character is designed. I was going to talk about her. Uh... A bit of Japanese flair. Oh. Her oh, that's a that's cool. Blade, a wide I was going to talk about her uh, um, talks, much like a tattoos and stuff like that. But if you saw her sheath of her sword, it looked different up, from uh, character familiar the one in her art style. Sheik. So I guess. Much like yeah, it, it looks different. She's a remaining survivor of the Sheikah. And we that means that there are some customization in. with the weapons course, that they look different. Points. That's really good. Well, there might be some of you who don't know, so we'll let those players try Hyrule Warriors and see for themselves. Who doesn't know what? Ah, shit, I talked over. Using her harp and martial arts, she's a speedy fighter in battle. In Hyrule Warriors, we also have more special appearances by characters <coughs> from three beloved Zelda games. Oh yes, they're beloved. Ocarina of Time. Twilight Princess and Skyward Sword. First up is okay, this music. Here's Darunia, leader of the Gorons. Oh yes. He swings around his giant hammer. With his <laughs> oh, he looks so he's awesome. Brute force to knock back waves of enemies. It's a perfect fit for his dynamic personality. And if you get him in the right mood, he'll bust out some fun dance moves. Oh too. yes. The Saria song needs Princess to be played. Ruto. She's also from Ocarina of Time. She can change the ground into water to attack enemies, or to travel from place to place. She looks like a really fun character, by the way. Her fighting style keeps opponents at a distance, and it's the perfect match for a Zora Princess. From Twilight Princess, Midna and Agatha join the battle. Oh yes, show me something new with Midna, please. Here's the Twilight Princess herself, Oh yes, Midna. hello Midna, love you. Just as before, it looks like her true form has been changed by someone's spell. <laughs> she can use her hair to grab and throw enemies. Or to a fist oh my god. Punch them. <clears throat> Shackle. That's her weapon. Now Agatha. for Agatha. You know, self proclaimed princess of the insect kingdom. She uses her parasol as a weapon. I'm okay with and Agatha. I mean, look at enemies. Yeah. The power of her look at that princess. beetle. I mean. Additionally, even the boss character Xanth from Twilight Princess is playable. In the yes! He swings around the scimitars on his hands, summons various things, oh. and can grow to an enormous size during battle. Oh my god. Tricky moves are definitely Zant's special. Oh my god, this is gonna be awesome. Next, Skyward Sword. Yes! Fi fought alongside Link. Okay, so it's Fi. It's, it's not Fi, it's Fi. I need to remember. Fi moves fluidly like she's dancing. And she can transform herself into a sword to attack. Again, enemies. I haven't played Skyward Sword, but I know that she danced a lot, I guess. Her mysterious manner of speaking is present in this title as well. Demon Lord Get Kirby, him. who relentlessly pursued Link and Skyward Sword, also appears. He's not just one of the enemies, though. He's a playable character, too. And that's good. So I guess all those just humanoid like characters sword, you can play as them. He will lead you around by the nose with a variety of sword attacks. Expect him to go all out during battle as well. Okay, I guess that's his form, fun form, his character. I know. In addition to characters returning from past Zelda games, what about new characters that are unique to Hyrule Warriors? Lana and Sia. This is the Sorceress of Light, Lana, who takes to the battlefield for a book of sorcery. She happens to be one of the key characters in the story, and she always fights with all her might. She can create hmm. magic walls, 
you know push them pinch foes with them or destroy them to attack if enemies online if they have like against each other you know which i dearly hope if they don't die i'm gonna be pissed off she seems like one of those most devastating characters okay next up grass cutting what i wouldn't say that cutting grass is the foundation of zelda but we all know it's something you definitely try out when you first acquire a sword. If you haven't done that, you're not playing correctly. Cutting grass is not just some simple action you do to wallow it. No, time. it's not simple. It's a life. Sometimes you may find hearts, rupees, or even something that makes you wonder, how'd that get in there? Like enemies. I remember when I played Link to the Past and Warrior. suddenly I'm gorgeous. You can cut Hello. grass in Hyrule Warriors too. I hear that they even considered adding a stage where all you do is chop up grass. But unfortunately, that didn't make you know, cut. You know, I heard about that as well, and it sounds a bit cool having this huge plane. New weapons. Oh, hello. As you advance the story, some characters will unlock new weapons. Okay. For example, the fire rod for they might show something new here, guys. Uh. The Wind Waker for Zelda. Now people are always saying that it's called the Wind Waker, blah blah blah, in the trailer of uh, the of, of um, you know the Wind Waker. Zelda. But remember that you can get different, you, can enjoy you know, different variants actions. of the weapons, and the best variant out, of the baton is probably the Wind Waker, so people need to understand that. The gauntlet. Wow. Here's an example. What? <laughs> what? Summoning gate? Each warrior has character specific special attacks. Using these special attacks wow. will let you defeat a large number of enemies at once. In this title, we also added a new system called Focus Spirit. Fill your magic gauge and release it to use Focus Spirit. Okay. This will temporarily increase your character's abilities. Wasn't that in the previous Dance so to Warriors game? The key moments in battle. Oh my god, it looks awesome! Along with the right special attacks. <laughs> oh, it's so crazy. I love it. You're Next, let's talk about Bomb Chews. A bomb chew is a type of house shaped. AJ <laughs> Anamura is only there to be derpy and trolly. In Ocarina of Time, there was a bowling like mini game using this item. Are you telling us that we can do that again? In Hyrule Wars, Whoa! bomb chews now look like this. They're huge. Yeah. No longer mouse sized. They're more like giant capybara with giant explosions to match. <laughs> Back in a bit. And then it just disappears again. I love it. Okay, thank you. Thank you, please. It's not just the characters that are different from those in the core Zelda series. Since we created this unique game based on the Legend of Zelda franchise, the locations used in each battle are inspired by locales that will be familiar to all Legend of Zelda fans. Here's Skyloft from Skyward Sword. <laughs> oh my god, this looks absolute. Hi, V. We can look up your, you know. <clears throat> Lake Hylia from Ocarina Okay, so it's Hylia, not Hylia, okay. By the way, this music. You know, the music. It's so important to have good music in a game. And I've only heard good music so far. I haven't heard any music where I'm a bit. Ee. This is so. Just. Take the love. Twilight Field. And Twilight Field. My favorite. Cell oh my god, what happened to Kar uh, Kakariko Village? Oh my god, no! <laughs> oh my god, this looks awesome! There are more stages inspired by the Zelda universe, mainly from these three titles. Okay. I'm okay with that. We hope you will enjoy them all. So they're gonna, just gonna focus on these three um, Ocarina of Time. Next we have Chain Chomp. What? 